if you talk to Pennsylvania Republicans from the Pennsylvania Republican Party, um, a really kind of reminiscent of what happened in 2016 in the presidential nomination process with Donald Trump. Uh, a lot of different candidates vying uh, to be the non-Mastriano, uh, and it turned out uh, voters went with Mastriano. Yeah, it's interesting, Charlie Dent saying the exact same thing to me, this lack of leadership within the Republican Party and then efforts to sort of clean up the mess and wondering, oh, what happened? Essie, what is your big takeaway? As you're looking back from this is the biggest primary day so far, but we're really just starting to mm -hmm. ramp up here. <clears throat> What's your biggest takeaway this morning? Well, in Pennsylvania, I think the, the unspoken story is how influential Democrats were in Mastriano's win. I mean, they mm -hmm. took a big risk backing Mastriano, because that's who they want to face, the more extreme candidate. They poured a lot of money into that race, tying him to Trump, feeling as though Pennsylvania isn't as extreme as um, as it may be. That is so risky, because I think especially in swing states now, you have to think that where it is red, it is very red. I think Democrats are thinking there are these imaginary districts now where they might be red, but they're like moderate Republicans. Those are very rare, increasingly so. So, uh, but to me, the lessons of 2016 make that a very risky strategy. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it works in, yeah. in, in November.